616 is our time here on this Sunday. Today's weather looks to be quiet, maybe a little bit gloomy like we saw yesterday, but the big story is our next weather system that arrives later tonight. Here's what we're watching over the next 48 hours. We're going to stay mostly cloudy today. It's going to be another cool afternoon by this evening. We'll see some moisture moving in and yeah, it could bring us the chance for some light snow showers as well. Sunrise happens a little bit later on this hour at 658 sunset tonight is just after 450. Our weather system right now is currently bringing all kinds of weather over Texas. We've got some snow showers, a little bit of a wintry mix right around Dallas and some rain towards Houston. This will continue to push our way and be here right around midnight tonight. At the moment, though, we are dry looking at satellite and radar. We do have a blanket of cloud cover still sitting over the mid state. Those clouds have been pretty stubborn. I do think they'll thin out just a little bit as we go into the afternoon, so there is some hope that you'll at least get to see some peaks of sunshine later today. Temperatures, though, are pretty cold out right now. We're in the 20s in Murfreesboro, 20s in Dixon, 31 up in Clarksville, and 28 our temperature over in Macon County in Lafayette. Now, with a little bit of wind out there too. Wind chill factor in the 20s, maybe even the teens across the plateau. We're going to warm up some, not a whole lot this afternoon, eventually getting above freezing by that 10 o'clock hour. Notice clouds still in place. By noon, 1 o'clock, we're in the upper 30s, and I think we will eventually make it to the lower 40s for many spots, but only for a short while. A couple of hours in those lower 40s, and then we're going to go back down later tonight. This is our overnight low temperature, so what we're going to start off Monday morning with temperatures back down into the 20s, not only in Middle Tennessee, but Southern Kentucky as well. These temperatures are what is going to support this moisture, maybe starting out with some snow showers early on tomorrow. This is just one of the computer models that we look at. This is a global model and it brings in that precipitation from the southwest just after midnight tonight. You'll notice some of our southern counties may see this start out with some light snow as we warm up a touch just above freezing on Monday afternoon, then this transitions maybe to a bit of a wintry mix with some rain. Now this model doesn't bring a whole lot in the way of moisture even farther north of I 40. It's the least aggressive that we have. This is a different model that we look at. It's more of a high resolution model heading into Monday. It starts out very similarly to what I just showed you with that moisture building in after midnight, starting out with a mix to some light snow showers just after midnight, but it continues with the snow, keeping us cold enough with enough moisture to see some light snow through the afternoon, even on Monday into Monday night before that moisture eventually pulls away. With the difference in those models currently, there is still some questions that needs to be ironed out. However, I am going to go ahead and just give us the small chance to see some of this accumulating, especially south of I-40, east of I-65. This looks to be a similar setup to Thursday and Friday as far as locations that may have the best chance to see some of that snowfall sticking. But at this point, it doesn't look to be too big of an impact, especially for Monday morning. Now, if that second model does verify, then we could see some slick spots maybe by Monday afternoon's commute. So this is something that you need to stay weather aware with us as we continue to watch this and iron out the questions that we still have heading into tomorrow. At this point, we don't have a storm five alert in place. There's also not any kind of winter weather advisories out there either. However, if we do change that later in the day, as we continue to watch these models and data come in, you'll be the first person to know if you have our storm shield app, go ahead and download it on the App Store or over on Google Play. This is our seven day forecast the next three days. Monday is going to be pretty cold with that moisture coming in. Overnight lows are set to be in the 20s as well. Got to wait a couple more days to get the gloomy weather out of here. It's looking like sunshine will come back on Tuesday. Still seeing highs in the 40s then, but by Wednesday dry with sunshine and we'll see those 50s towards the middle of the week.